What's up, everybody? It's your boy Q. You know who I am. Back, baby, with another video. Thank y'all for coming kicking me with today. So I'm on my way right now to go meet Justin to get my new sub put into the truck. Basically, everything's already wired from what Kevin did, so there's really nothing to do. I just gotta put the sub in and plug it back up. Justin said I can just help you put it in because he puts his own stuff in. As y'all probably saw with the video with the shocks, this sound system in his truck. You haven't go back and watch it. So anyway, I never got to explain why I chose the sub I did and why when I broke the plug, trying to change my spark plug, I panicked. So I chose the sub I did because in the, when I panicked and took my truck to the dealer when I broke the plug trying to change my spark plug because I was buying the motorcycle. So I actually bought the motorcycle March 24th. First, like the day before my birthday. I think I went and got the sub in March 22nd. And I can't remember when I did the spark plug change. But anyway, I was making, I had room made for the motorcycle. Club. That's why I didn't go anything crazy with the system. I took my truck into the dealer to get the spark plug change after I kind of messed, messed it up. But you know, I just couldn't afford a big bill because I had Charles making room for the motorcycle. I knew it was coming. I had it and everything. So that explains why I never got to tell that story. Otherwise, I probably would have went with a, a probably like a bigger system. You know, something just a little more higher end. So that's the decision I made and why I made them. As you all know, my Pioneer system blew guys and an update on that, I have had the worst experience with them. So it's been months and I have not got anywhere. I called the Amazon when it first happened because call Amazon, you know, Prime membership, call them, see they say. They try to do some formula, hey, you gotta call Pioneer, this is their product, you know. They did they couldn't do anything. The lady was super helpful. She tried, but she couldn't. So I called Pioneer, the first lady I got, first I was on hold for like 15 minutes, first lady I got. Uh, I told her what happened. She was like, "Who's the seller on Amazon?" I said, "Amazing Deals." She was like, "Oh, we don't we don't work with Amazing Deals. They don't have authorization to sell our product." I said, "Okay, so y'all just like, Pioneer, one of the main like audio quality stereo systems, uh, theater systems, whatever, gonna just give unauthorized people the, the right to sell their product." So she like, "Yeah, we don't work with them." So I said, "Okay." So I, I what did I do then? I can't remember what I did then. I think I was gonna give up at that point. I read the reviews, people was like, hey, don't even bother trying to warranty. They want they want you to pay to ship it back yourself for like $30 and all this crazy stuff. So I said, you know what, I'm just gonna cut my losses. I think I was talking to Jack B. Quick. He like, man, you might as well just pursue it, you pay for it. I was like, you know what, you're right. So I called them back and I got a different lady. Super helpful. I said, hey, you know, total situation. She like, who's the seller? Amazing deals. Oh yeah, we work with them. Bruh. So the other lady told me they only work with them. So she, this lady took all my information, got everything. So I'm like, yes, we making progress now, you know, good. All right. She said, I'm gonna send this to my manager and he's gonna give you a call. One week go by, nothing. Two weeks go by, nothing. <laughs> and so then I called back and I got the first lady I talked to who told me they don't work with Amazing Deal. So conversation goes saying, hey, I called, spoke to the lady, she took my information. She like, I can't find anything, what's your number? No, 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 we don't find anything. So who's the system? It's through Amazing Deals, Pioneer. Amazon, Pioneer through Amazing Deals. We don't work with Amazing Deals. Lady, yes, y'all do. Your coworker just told me y'all work with Amazing Deals. So she put me on a brief hold. She's like, hold on, please. So she gets back on the phone. She's like, okay, yes, I'm sorry. We do work with Amazing Deals. Okay. So after that, she was actually very nice and super helpful. So she took all my information again. And so she took it down. She's like, okay, I'm going to send you an email. I need you to send me proof that you bought it. Okay, I can do that. Send proof that I bought it. She replied back to my email. She said, okay, I'm going to send this to my manager. Cool. Two or three days go by, the manager calls. Let's talk to him. Had to give him the whole spill over again. He's like, I'm confused because uh, the, the, the ticket says sub and the amp, and I don't really know what's going on. And the only reason I get the information because they asked me what sub and what amp did you have it hooked up to. I guess they just want to know for their text. I don't know. And so he was like, I'm just confused. I don't know what's going on. It's just an amp and a sub mentioned in here. He was a little, a little, uh, I don't know, a little rude, sort of, not really, but a little. You know, I wouldn't want to talk to him every day. <laughs> so he was on that fine line. So he was like, okay. He's like, thank you, that's all I need to clear up. I'm gonna have my uh, warranty team's gonna reach out to you. Yes, I bet. One week go by, nothing. He actually follows up a week later. Hey man, you know, I just wanna know if the warranty team reached out to you. Hey, I'm glad you reached out, man. No, they have not reached out to me. That was my email back to him. Two days go by, nothing. Three days go by, nothing. A week go by, nothing. So I email again. Hey man, just following up to see if you heard anything. Another week go by, nothing. Email, I saw, I'm emailing him multiple times throughout the week. Emailed him again, nothing. Finally, like three weeks later, guys, he emails me, uh, okay, I'm gonna have my warranty team reach back out to you. That was like a week ago, nothing. Nobody has called me. They, I guess they're trying to play the game, just string you out, string you out, hopefully you give up and quit. 
And I'm the type of person that I more so just learn from my mistakes. So I probably won't ever buy a Pioneer system again, unfortunately. I used to love Pioneer. I thought they were more like leading class. Um, but yeah, their warranty sucks. So they're just like stringing you along, stringing you along, hoping you just quit. So I was trying to wait to get reimbursed on that, see how that was going to go before I bought a new system, that's which why I haven't, but this is taking way too long. So I was like, you know what? Justin told me he can give me a pretty good deal on what I'm getting. I'm like, okay, let's do that. So that's where we at now, man. So I just bit the bullet. I'm not having given up yet. I'm gonna keep reaching out to them, but I want a refund as well. I don't even want a new product. If you buy Pioneer, man, you probably having better luck than I have. It's just bad luck. And I run across this occasionally, just bad luck with certain things, but this is terrible. It's customer service is terrible. And then if I have to pay it to send it back, that's gonna be like $30. Like. Do they give me the $30 back? You know, at that point, it's not even, you know, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm on my way to go meet Justin right now. Um, show y'all what we got, and then I'll see y'all in a bit. All these stones they took from Thanos, now I got them on my head. I pull up inside that foreign high up booster that I get. David lines up me. All right, guys, so this is what we got. Yep, what I should have went with the first time instead of wasting my dang money. I do these. How did it happen, though? I mean, shit, I have no idea, honestly. I might have done it. <laughs> he said, I might have done it. It's all good. Oh, this thing is nice, man. So, yeah, I went with a J Audio. This is an 8 inch, right? Yeah. 8 inch sub. W3. W3. What that mean? That I means it's, uh, it's kind of like the. Because they got W0, W1, okay. Okay. and W3. So, it's like, it's a pretty good sub. Oh, so it's pretty good. So, this is what I was going to go with originally. Uh -huh. And I was being, I guess, cheap. Not really. I was buying my it's motorcycle. Big price difference. Yeah, it is. It's a big price, and I was buying my motorcycle at the time, so I didn't want to go crazy on my system because I wanted to make room for the motorcycle. But anyway, so that's what we're rocking with. We're gonna see if we can fit behind here um, first and see what we got. You, you know, a lot of people run these back there. No, but you look, look at that. How that? Yeah, I saw that. I was looking at it online the other day, like, and man, yeah, yeah, that's a cool box. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's real cool. Got the strap up. You, I showed the last time, so yeah, you can just pull it down and see. I can get this out your way. You see, yep. I don't know, man. It's kind of move out my tiles. It's kind of tight. Yeah, right there for sure. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I think honestly, just I'm be I'm I'm I'm, put it under the seat I'm comfortable said, with putting yeah. it on the seat, guy. I know a lot of you all. You, um, I'm talking to the camera. You can close it. A lot of you all probably want to put it back there. I know it looks better, guys, but I'm not. I'm I'm okay. I'm good. It ain't worth it. Man. It ain't worth it. Just I mean, and a lot of people put it back there. Sometimes it should latch. Man, mine does that too. It's a pain. Is it uh make sure the strap be a maybe that's what it is. I don't know. No. <laughs> I feel like it's latching, but come on forward. Oh. Can I try it? Yeah, I think it's on there. It's on there? Maybe if you just pull it, it unlatches. I don't know. Yeah, hey, I don't know. Is that right here? Yep, we gonna put okay. it right, we gonna put it right here, man. Right where the old one was. Uh, Watch it not fit in there. <laughs> I know. Oh, shit. I hope so. Nah, it's, <laughs> it's only supposed to be five inches. It looks like more than that, though. Yeah, it does. I, I th honestly, I thought it would be a lot smaller than what it is, but is that the right side? Oh, yeah. We good. Yeah, we good because it's yeah. got the grill. So yeah. You don't got to worry about it. Yeah, we good. What grill? What are you talking about? Like this grill. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you don't got to worry about anything. Hitting the actual yeah, woofer. Yeah, because that grill allows it to... Gotcha. And right there, it'll be good. Somebody said about... See how the wires are tucked underneath this amp? Somebody said that... I'm just reading comments. I don't know. That it's better not to tuck them underneath, like, to bend them? You know, as long as you're not... Like, you can see here, he's got... Like, you can get play. Between Your play is not, like, stretched yeah. tight? Okay. If, now, if you screwed an amp, like, to a piece of wood or something yeah. hard and had it real tight, that yeah. would be bad. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, probably not the best idea, but, I mean, it's... The way he's got it, it's not hurting anything. Okay, cool. I got a bass knob up there. I don't think that really matters. I think everything's wired, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. You just got to put the RCs in. And I'm not even going to use my wires I brought. I just brought longer wires just in case. Just in case, yeah. Yeah. But I think we might be pretty so good with what we got. Actually, it doesn't come with it. Oh really? Yeah, I've never seen one of these before. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it normally go in? It just plug. It kind of plugs in, so you'll be able to unplug it if you want to. It's pretty cool. It's yeah. called a banana plug. A banana plug. Yeah. Okay. First time I heard of it. All right, guys. So we got the new sub wired up, put in, and it sounds for an eight-inch sub. This thing really hits hard for an eight-inch. Like. It hit just as hard as a 10. I think that Pioneer was a little more bassy, just a tad bit, but this is way cleaner and has the bass where it's not distorting the music, you know? I'm very shocked that the eight hits like that. And it's not even broken in. I got my bass knob turned all the way down. We got the gains turned like halfway, if not low on the lower end, just in case, um, you know, we don't blow the uh, speaker or the amp. So 
anyway, yeah, I, I really like it. And actually, Justin finna hook me on some zip ties. So he was talking about my wire. He saw my wire hanging down here from the freaking lights. And he's like, we got to clean that up. So <laughs> so he about to clean it up really quick. So I really, I like it. Nice, clean sound. From the outside, you can hear, but it doesn't sound like it's anything above factory. But sitting in the back passenger seat, it's not annoying. Like, you wouldn't get like a headache. It's just a nice, clean bump, bump, you know. Oh, that's that's much clean. I'm about to get rid of these masks, too. I think I'm about to go ahead and get some Husky liners. That thing was worn. Yeah, dude, they're new. That's the thing. I see. Oh, okay, I got you. They're, um... They're not even old, bro. Like they are. Crazy, bro. They look like I'm, they've been in there for years. <laughs> I mean, they've been in there for about. They're all soft. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you go. Maybe they were like that when they were new. They were yeah, no, they, they. It's a cheap dude. He was like. They're not bad though, man. They're I mean, like twenty bucks, bro. Like that, 20, 30 bro, bucks. Good, I mean, that's a good deal. For that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to get some husky liners, man. Just to. Uh, I mean, for a universal, it's nice. It's got the tray and everything. Yeah, I'm getting some husky liners just to flush it out. It just, my, my wife said every time she get in my truck, she like, dude, I hate getting in here. It just looks so light. She make, it makes me cringe because they sit up. They're not flush or anything. Mm -hmm. But I get some Husky lines for like 113 I think, on Amazon. Man, you should have bought them there on sale. They're on sale like 75 bucks. When? Like when the Corona first hit. Uh, I was hoping maybe for Memorial Day they would have a sale. for probably like 80-something bucks. Oh, really? Yeah. See, look, Justin, man. Y'all got to get a friend like somebody like Justin, man. You, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. want to do rock likes, but I actually, I think I want to save some few months and get some power steps, bro. Oh, I yeah. Th I think yeah. that's going to be the next. Yes, that'll look so much better. Y'all do power steps? Yeah. Y'all do? Yeah, for sure. We'll hook you up. Get a deal on those, too? Yeah. So, I think that'll be next, maybe. I got to do some work to the bike, too. Uh, some stuff I want to do to that, but we'll see, man. So, they use, they, I'm pretty sure they use, like, for the wire jackets, they use like some quarter sort of soy material uh -huh. in some of them. Okay. And so this happens a lot. Uh, rats or mice get Because here. I just checked this like the other day. So guys, what I was doing, I was just checking to make sure, you know, uh, Kevin told me to make sure the wire's not uh -huh. shriveling. And melting. that wasn't there? No, that was not there. Yeah, and you Look haven't been in here. Nobody's no, been in here. No, nobody's been in here. And That's I haven't a rat, had a bro, system, sure. man. Because if it was burned, you'd see where it was melted. And it would probably be through the whole wire, right? Well, if it was... If it was burning, I mean, it looks completely different because the the jacket starts to shrivel. Shrivel, yeah. yeah. It'll be like more of a, when plastic it is hot. Just get a hole in it like right. that what in one spot. <laughs> that's weird, bro. Yeah. I keep an eye on it. That's fine right now. Like that's not gonna hurt anything. But can I put some tape on it or something? Yeah, I might put a little piece of tape. Or I think I. Oh no. Oh, no I Electrical tape. tape. Yeah. You don't yeah, have I'll any? I'll go grab a piece. I gotta put these up anyways. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll. Sorry about that, man. Oh, what the hell, guys? So just as he thinks that's a rat, <laughs> he, that is weird. I don't know. Anyway, I'll keep an eye on that to make sure it's not shriveling or anything like that, man. But that, uh, that was not there a little bit ago. Ain't no way the rat got up. <laughs> Maybe a rat did get up here. I don't see how, but I like this black. Who F one? Uh, I love this black, dude. Yeah. That's pretty. What year is it? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, he got some ten on his too, huh? Uh huh. Yeah, I like this. I like the <laughs> F one fifty. Bless you, the stock one with the. I like that. It's yeah. just clean. I like the F one fifty is a good looking truck. Stock. For sure, it's like the same truck. Except yep. Just, it's mine. Except yeah. Like two years older. I like yeah, the rims yeah, too. Yours was the XLT Sport, right? Yeah. Four uh, four by four. Yeah. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Sport. Same thing. Yeah. Yours is actually the same thing as his. Mine's yep. XLT Sport. Yours is XLT Sport. Oh wait, you didn't have this in here last time, right? No, nah, I just put that in. I don't understand. So why are you running two batteries? Man, my voltage was, I was getting that voltage drop Batman, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it so was you, dropping into the 10s. Yeah, so you had to run a whole nother battery. Yeah, and Dude, this stays like in the, it still drops down low 12s if I'm I don't, if I'm sitting still. Okay. But I think if I upgrade my uh, voltage, my alternator and my battery ground wire, okay. it'll be better. Dang, okay. Man, this is, dude, you got a crazy setup back here, bro. Heck yeah. Dude, this is, it looks dude. crazy. Look at these freaking, I'm just surprised how thick these freaking wires are, dude. <laughs> Yeah. What kind of mess are these? Uh, those, those are the four, ones. the four yeah. OEM ones. Uh -huh. Did I show you the roadside assistance package? No. Well, I can't because I can't put my seat down right now. But what's that little strap for right here? Um. Oh, that's how they they change it to that instead of the handle. In the eighteen. Oh, yeah, like oh, oh, yeah, instead of the handle right there. Yeah, 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 it's right there. Oh, okay. I actually okay. like the handle, but yeah, I do, I think I like the handle too. But, but. Uh, I got used to it. Yeah, but I moved my sub. It's hit yeah. harder like that because it's reverberating into the back of the truck. Oh yeah, cause it was facing up last time. Mm -hmm. Now nah, I can't put my seat down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't put neither one of them down. Nope. And Damn. Also, to fit this battery in here, I had to space my whole seat up. Look, I got spacers in there. 
Oh shit, did you? Yeah. Oh yeah. So that's why my back doesn't fold down because it's putting pressure on that bar. Yeah, on yeah, the yeah. Latch. Okay. And until I put the seat down and move that latch down. Yeah. Then it'll oh down. yeah, then it pop down. Okay. Right now it's like pushing up on the latch. Yeah. So, so how did you get this down? You got to take all this. You had to. Oh man, it was a bitch. I, had to I take, bet. I had to take the whole seat off, like all. It was like six bolts or something. Shit. Because I thought it was, I thought it was two pieces. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna lift this side so I can fit the battery into there. Yeah. And no, nah, man, I ended up. It's one whole piece. Hours, yeah. <laughs> I put spacers under everything and. Yeah. And why'd you have to do the spacers again one more time? To fit the battery because the seat wouldn't go down before. With the battery right there, yeah. the seat would uh, wouldn't go down. Oh, it wouldn't go down. Yeah. Okay, I got you. But since you moved your your system now, right, to face back, it won't go down anyway. Is that what you're saying? Correct. Yeah. And I okay. just did that yesterday. I think I'm gonna put it back so I can put my seat down. Seat again. Down. Okay, yeah. got you. Okay. That's a, that that's a better. nice ass system. It looks good. I love I love that box. That's a, that's a nice box. I'm not sure if you guys can see. You know, but. it's nice for for cheap. You know, Scar is cheap. Is it? Yeah, Scar is cheap okay. quality. I mean, yeah. But they're good for being cheap. I mean, it's, yeah, it's not the worst stuff. It sounds there. good though, like really good. I'm impressed, man. The base is really clean for being a cheap SPL subwoofer, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. So it's been like some weeks later um, since I got the sub installed. I did want to give it some time to kind of break in, you know. But what I found still now, I'm not sure if it's just me being paranoid. And so we had the gains turned down for like two weeks almost, and my bass knob still turned all the way down. Uh, as suggestion of Justin. So finally, I kind of turned the gains up, but when I turned the gains up even to normal, like after a while I'm driving, I start to smell like that burning smell. And I could just be tripping. Could be my AC system I'm smelling. I don't know. But so I actually turned the gains down. So it was normal 12 o'clock, turned it slightly down. And I found where it's at now. I can play it at a good bass and it doesn't start smelling. But when I put on normal and after a while like I'm driving and it's, it's bumping constantly, it seems like it starts to cook this up. I could be completely wrong. So y'all come below, tell me what y'all think. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all, give y'all a preview as to what it sounds like. Uh, for 8 inch sub, man, it, it sounds pretty good. So of course y'all bear with me, you know we gotta play the YouTube music. So, all right, here we go. And you will see like the window and everything go to shaking, bro. Yeah, it sounds good. I can hear, can't hear, but like, yeah, my, my rear view mirror is rattling, my both doors rattling, all that stuff. So, anyway, man, I want to give y'all a quick preview what it sounds like for eight. Dude, this thing hits, it's clean, and again, my gains are not turned all the way up, my bass knob is not cut up. That volume right there, I had it about right there, as y'all can see. So, not full volume, probably don't want to go full volume anyway, but uh, hope y'all liked it. I like it. I guess I'm really mad if anybody else like it, <laughs> right? But I like it, so happy with it. But anyway, man, that's all I got. Catch y'all next, baby. Peace. Ball, man. Pull up to your show and ball, man. OG Mine and Johnson in your hood. I got pool, man. Y'all wait on my side. Marty Mid, fly with dark, you know. I done see my future. It look good in the Dorian. Please stay out of my space. Y'all ain't been popping since my space. I ain't trying to hear what you say. Look, touch your granny on Facebook. God is my witness. I've been learning about forgiveness. He said, suckers gonna be suckers. Live your life. Live your life. I had burdens. Damn Christ. Watch my soul. It's